Remember the Laverne woman who stole more than a million dollars from a federal child food program? Well, now federal prosecutors say she had help from her family and friends. And now the U.S. attorney wants to send them to prison, too. Our consumer investigator Jennifer Krause tells us about the latest arrests. Rory, seven more people arrested, most of them related to LaShawn Hayes. And federal prosecutors say they all knew what Hayes was doing and actually helped her do it. As the director of a federally funded food program, LaShawn Hayes was supposed to be giving money to child care programs to feed low income children. But what she did was steal more than a million and a half dollars by claiming she was providing money to child care facilities and children that didn't exist. What do you have to say about what you did? News Channel 5 investigates first exposed her scheme last year, how she turned in fake reimbursement claims to DHS, claiming, for example, this grassy embankment on Dickerson Pike was a home-based daycare and listing family members and friends as caregivers, which federal prosecutors now allege wasn't true either. The U.S. attorney has now charged Hayes' son, Adrian Jennings of Madison, and her aunt, Alice Dunlap of Murfreesboro, with conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Also charged, Hayes' brother, Brian Jennings, and sister-in-law, Clarissa Jennings, both of Springfield. Hayes' niece, Nicole Golden of Hendersonville, another relative, Patsy Mathis of Knoxville, and friend Juanita Mitchell of Murfreesboro. Prosecutors say Hayes got the reimbursement money and spent much of it on herself, but that she did share some of it with those who helped her. The indictments say these folks received anywhere from $11,000 to $41,000 each. This brings the total number of arrests in this case to nine. In addition to these seven plus Hayes, back in May, Hayes' cousin Tammy Young was also charged and admitted that she too had been part of the scheme. Now, the seven who've just been arrested all now face up to 20 years in prison and $250,000 in fines. Hayes herself was only sentenced to three months behind bars after she claimed she was in poor health, and she's already out of prison. She was ordered to pay back what she stole, but federal officials concede it's unlikely that most of that money will ever be recovered. Rory. Jennifer, thank you.